Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Coin News Extra interview session. So joining us today is a representative of uh, Passport Cryptocurrency Exchange. We have with us Modibe Masepen. Modibe, you are welcome to Coin News Extra. Did I get your name correct? Um, thank you very much for, for the kind introduction. And um, yes, the name you going correct, but the same name, um, uh, the same name is Matsipani. Uh, thank you very much for having me here. Uh, you guys are doing a great job uh, with the content that we're producing for our people. Okay, thank you. So today we'll be talking briefly about what uh, Passful is really doing in Africa. Uh, what Passful is doing to encourage the growth and adoption of cryptocurrency and blockchain in Africa. So as a as Passful representative, you are the African coordinator for Passful. So you'll be helping us to do justice about this topic. So before we continue, can you just give us a brief about yourself? Um, so um, I'm an African, I'm based in South Africa, but then I, I, I don't <coughs> see the border. So I move around Africa and I work all over and appreciate everything that I learned from my fellow Africans. And um, I'm currently working as the Petsful Africa coordinator. Um, yes, and I believe in the power of Bitcoin and uh, the value that it offers to our people, especially in Africa, whereby uh, <coughs> it is used for real, real, uh, real use cases as compared to uh, being a speculative asset. So being part of the movement uh, gives me great joy knowing that what we do and offer is factual is really changing people's lives, especially in um, uh, the countries with the high number of the underbanked and unbanked. Um, talk of Nigeria, talk of um, uh, Kenya, Ghana, the bit of South Africa, you know, and many other countries which are benefiting from what we provide as Yes. Okay, that's interesting. So moving straight to the topic of the day, what we are discussing today is Passful. So some of our audience may not know what actually Passful is. So what's Passful? Um, so to briefly uh, explain Passful, it's a paper power marketplace for money transfers with anyone, anywhere in the world at any point, uh, any, any point in time. And what Passful aims to do is, is to empower the forgotten billions of people around 4 billion people are underbanked and unbanked around the world. And the aim is to give them control over their money using the platform that we provide, which is peer-to-peer, -peer, and it's powered by, by Bitcoin. That's basically what Paxful does. And to break it down uh, a bit further, on Paxful, you are able to buy and sell Bitcoin to anyone, anywhere in the world. So you can use a gift card, you can use a bank transfer, you can use um mobile money you can use uh, online wallets like paypal and the others so you you only need to um, have internet and then register an account in Paxful, be ready to transact buy bitcoin sell bitcoin anywhere in the world you set your own terms if you wanna earn 10 percent of the bitcoin you can do that if you wanna earn 20 percent you can do that if you wanna uh, you know um, buy gold uh with Bitcoin, you can do that. If you want to sell gold with Bitcoin, you can do that as well. So the gold, Kenyan method has recently added. So it's a uh, one of the things which are quite interesting about um, that Petsful does and uh, is continuing to work in every people's lives um, in Africa. Okay, uh, interesting. Uh, Petsful is a big exchange and it's doing much, and it's a very popular exchange over here, even in Nigeria. So moving ahead. Um, so are there some things, you know, Passful for Passful to have more people on board that should be an awareness about cryptocurrency and blockchain in the society? Are there some programs or projects that Passful has done or is about to do to enlighten the people more about uh, cryptocurrency and blockchain? Um, so also to uh, just uh, put things in the context, in in a case of an exchange, you have to, if you want to buy Bitcoin, you have to, you know, give them your 
card number and all of those. So with Paxful, you don't need to do that. So it's not an exchange per se, but it's a it's a peer to peer a marketplace where people <coughs> transact without having to give up uh, their identity and banking uh, details, uh, card numbers, and all of those. So it's not uh, an exchange per se. It's a simply a peer to peer uh, platform where you and I can right now, if I want to send money to Nigeria, I can. Um, you can trade with me through bitcoins and then uh, someone will pay you with the uh, Mayaras without having to punch your banking details on our platform. So we don't have uh, trust ID for any fiat. I simply two people transact. Uh, I send you money, you send me bitcoins and it's like that. So it's not an exchange in a way. However, to touch on the projects which we are, <coughs> we are doing in Africa, uh, Africa is the, the fastest uh, growing region for Paxful. I've uh, been the biggest market. Most people are coming to Africa, but Paxful, as you might know, is one of the first uh, to realize that uh, Africa has so much potential and came to Africa to offer people the solution to move their money around. So last year, we uh, launched a couple of uh, uh, drives focused on universities, specifically in uh, um, Africa, Kenya, as well as South Africa, and that was aimed at educating the youth on what people do, what we can do, and um, the reception was uh, quite good. Um, the youth showed interest in learning about that, you know, and um, we spoke about things like uh, avoiding scams and all of those because most people, when they see people, they see scam, but Paxful has been able to in a way, uh, and I thank people on that. Also, as part of uh, our mission to empower the uh, underbanked and unbanked in Africa, there's an initiative called Build with Bitcoin. So it's an initiative aimed at uh, fostering the education within uh, communities which are not doing so well. Um, the aim is to build 100 schools. Uh, so, so far we've built uh, three schools two in Rwanda and then there's one in Kenya uh, which is about to be completed. All of these things are done through Bitcoins. You know, it's simply showing people that okay Bitcoin isn't just speculating, but you can use it to power your daily lives and it can be used to uh, foster and encourage education. Also we've uh, recently partnered up with uh, Africa Blockchain University to uh, roll out blockchain education to 2,500 uh, uh, youth people in, in Africa. The program started today, by the way. Um, you know, if uh, people like Kinem uh, joining the program to learn about blockchain technology and cryptocurrency and what you can do in their lives, uh, they can take the course as well. Okay. Um, thank you very much. Thank you. Talking about uh, uh, blockchain and cryptocurrency education, I wanted to ask you before you talked about. Uh, what Passful is dealing with uh, um, you know, blockchain university or so. So are there some other projects that, you know, uh, education is the key to mass cryptocurrency and blockchain adoption? Are there some other things that Passful is doing to promote cryptocurrency and to educate people about cryptocurrency and blockchain in Africa, since you are the African coordinator? Yeah, so... Um, uh, just before uh, the, the pandemic uh, spread uh, widely and led to many lockdowns, we, we had started doing uh, the offline uh, workshops whereby we educate people on the power of Bitcoin, what we can do, what Bitcoin is not, and what Bitcoin is, and how to effectively use it and patch So we had started doing that in Kenya, and um, that was uh, federal, and with the intentions to going to other regions and uh, roll this out. But because of the pandemic, we had to uh, put everything on hold. And that led to us uh, going online and doing more webinars. So lately, we've, we've been doing uh, plenty of webinars with um, um, uh, new users, people who are in the crypto space, uh, Bitcoin enthusiasts, um, uh, to educate people more on Bitcoin. And also, there's a 
high school peer program. As you can see, my my uh, chat and Bini uh, are attending high school peer program. So that's an that's an initiative to foster the entrepreneurship spirit within Africa, give people an opportunity to educate their communities on what Bitcoin is and what it is not. And in that way, there is a, a, a reward for doing that. So we reward people for educating their communities, those around them, so that they do not fall uh, prey to the um, bad actors who misrepresent uh, what Bitcoin is. So, um, Tax with your program is one of the things we're doing. Uh, we also have a lot of webinars going on. Um, we post them on our uh, pages um, all week long. So if people are keen to know what we're going to be doing in a particular week, you can just open on to our social media and see what we are up to. So webinars, thanks with your program. It's uh, on top of the things which uh, I've mentioned, it's uh, some of the things which we're doing to encourage uh, cryptocurrency and Bitcoin adoption. We also uh, uh, working on a couple of partnerships with the local organizations uh, in different countries, uh, which will be really much soon. So it's uh, people who are in the space who understand the needs of the of the communities uh, they are in, and we come in and uh, turn up with them so that we can, uh, in a way, increase the the scalability of the education in the, the crypto space. Okay, that's very, very interesting. Passwind is really, really, really doing well in Africa. Um, finally, before we draw the curtain on today's uh, interview, recently, um, Passwind released about 10 women that are in Flesha, the names of 10 women that are in Flesha in the blockchain and cryptocurrency space. Uh, are there some other things that Passwind is doing to encourage more women into this space? Um, so, we don't have any specific uh, program that is aimed at women. Uh, you know, some that can say this is specifically for women. Uh, it's tailored for them. But uh, the way Paxful is and uh, is founded, it's very, very inclusive in the sense that um, there is more than uh, 100 female employees at Paxful and uh, more than 35% of the management on Paxful is uh, it's, it's women. Uh, however, uh, uh, projects like the uh, Pixel Peer Program, they encourage uh, youth participation, no matter the gender. So we have a couple of uh, f female like, uh, peers on the program. However, we don't have any specific program tailored for, for women because the way things are, it affects for, you know, gender is not, is not really an issue. Um, uh, but then it's something that uh, has not been specifically tailored for uh, for any program. But the progress is uh, quite interesting uh, on the female side, on our side. And we're hoping that um, most women take part in the things we're offering. Uh, stuff like the course which I mentioned with Africa Blockchain University as well as the Tech uh, program, you know. Um, yes. Okay, thank you very, very much, um, Madi Bay, for joining us today on Coinbase Extra interview. Uh, thank you very much. I keep doing the great work. Uh, our, our people need more education on the potential of the uh, the currency space and blockchain technology and what we can offer compared to handouts. Handouts are done, but it's not right. So we now need more education on how we can help Africa. Um, Big fog and catch up with the world, and that can be done through the content that we're offering and when people begin to learn and devote their time to um, looking at the solutions which can liberate Africa. Thank you for having me. Okay, thank you.